there, my name is Nate. I'm the director of product development here for Denali Electronics. And um, today we're actually filming from in my office um, in the Denali Design Lab because we wanna start a new uh, video series um, for you guys where we give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at our development process. Um, when we bring in uh, motorcycles, Jeeps, trucks, ATVs, and uh, build out all of our um, light and horn mounts as well as all of our wiring adapters. So behind me in the design lab today is an Africa Twin 1100. This is the Adventure Sports model. So um, over right over here, we've got Ned who's working on the hard parts, light mount, horn mount. You can actually see we got a 3D scan of the bike to make sure all of our connection points are spot on. And behind me the other way, we've got Greg over here who is working on all of our wiring adapters. So he's uh, really familiarizing himself with the vehicle uh, wiring diagram so we can make all of our plug and play adapters for hooking up all kinds of accessories, but most notably the Denali accessories from our turn signals to our DRLs to our brake lights as well as our driving lights and all the controllers that control them. So one of the most useful things we can show you guys um, when we're doing the development in our shop before we even have all the light mounts, horn mounts and wiring adapters completed is to give you a complete wiring overview of the Africa Twin. It's just gonna be such a useful resource for Africa Twin owners who wanna understand the electrical system on their bike as well as where to hook up to these circuits and what wires to hook up to. So starting on the front of the bike here, um, all we've done so far is taken off the top tank cowl and both of the side fairings, the windscreen assembly as well, and then we've loosened these bolts. So I'm here on the right-hand side of the bike and if I lift this up gently here, you can see that is the turn signal connector. Now, consistent on all Honda motorcycles, the green wire is always gonna be ground. They're using blue for the right side. Turn signal connectors, and I'll show you on the other side, they use orange. Also on the right side of the bike, um, small two wire uh, connector here, that's actually your temperature sensor. Um, but this guy is most interesting for us. This is the fog light connector. So uh, it's just a two pin adapter and that's where you plug in the factory fog lights. But exciting for Denali is we're actually gonna be making a wiring adapter um, similar to this one here that will allow you to plug directly into the factory harness and power up Denali lights. Um, over on the left hand side of the bike, I'll just show you again how they're using orange as the turn signal connector. And again, you'll see the fog light connector under the air intake on the exact uh, same side for your factory fog lights. Um, two really important connectors up here, right under the fairing on the left hand side, your um, accessory 12 volt power. This is just a two wire port and that's gonna be providing uh, switched power to your bike. So that's a great wire to hook up to for all the accessories that are gonna need switched power. We're also gonna be making some adapters that plug and play into here for powering our accessories. And then this guy here is a very important connector. This is a 12 pin connector. If you look closely, there's actually two. This is the top one and we've tested these circuits and have found that this is where we can um, pick up a high beam trigger wire as well as switched power and that's gonna allow us to um, make it so our Denali lights switch from low intensity to high intensity with the factory fog light. And we had to make a special little module for that to happen. So stay tuned on the uh, next videos in these series. It's gonna show you exactly what those adapters are and exactly how to use them to hook up Denali accessories. Um, and then in the back of the bike, the Honda's made it nice and easy here. If we go all the way to the rear, this um, bank here in the middle is gonna be your uh, left turn, right turn, and the white connector in the middle is your license plate light. And already unplugged in the dead center back is this three pin connector, and that is your brake light. Um, and we will be providing a link in the description to call out all the specific wire colors on these connectors so you guys know exactly what to hook up to. One of the last things I'll show you that's pretty um, important on, on this bike is the red diagnostic port here. So that's something that's actually being standardized in motorcycles and you can see it right here. That's where we would be hooking up um, a CanSmart type system or hooking up small uh, service dongles to um, flash or, um, the codes or to uh, enable accessories on the dash. 
So um, definitely stay tuned um, for the future videos in this series where we show you exactly what we've developed and how to get it all hooked up and installed on your Africa Twin 1100.